Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today we're going to have a game from the Sino-Korean Brood War Carnival, held in 2016. That's going to be a game between Flash and Movie, here on Neo Jade 2.0. Top right-hand corner is the White Protoss player. His name is going to be Movie. And in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, it's the Brown Terran player, Flash. Flash needs no introduction, you know who he is. But Movie, a little bit of a newer player to the game. He only really got his start back in 2012 or so, played up until Caspa fell apart, moved over to StarCraft 2, and then came back to Brood War. So he's kind of been all over the place in recent days here. His overall statistics, uh, end of the Brood War, 56% win rate versus Terran, 57 versus Zerg, and 44 versus Protoss. PvP not very good, but very solid against both Terran and Zerg. And this is an interesting stat, or uh, statistic, I guess trivia fact. I found on Liquidpedia, half of his wins, over half of his wins versus Zerg come from ZVP powerhouses, Hero and Jadong. So he is really good at PvZ. PvT, good, not great, and this isn't a PvP, so he should be fine here, but he ended up matched up against Jadong in the quarterfinals. Had a whole series here in the Sino-Korean Brood War Carnival. Very interested to see how he's going to perform today against Flash. Again. Flash is a bit... I'm going to say this and get some mad comments, but he's a little bit older than he used to be. That's it. He's not quite as fast as he used to be. His PPT is still very, very good. But I really don't think he is in a guarantee to win this game today against Movie. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And if it is just a crushing, then so be it. But Movie has the chance to play against Flash and really increase his name within the StarCraft Remastered community. Both players' APM is just ridiculous. Over 400 on average right now, early spamming in the game. That's a discussion that goes on in the comments from time to time here. But in case you didn't hear the information, I am going to be casting three Brood War games per week. Going to have Tuesday and Saturday as usual, and then one more. Thinking either Thursday or Friday US time. Friday morning or Thursday morning, one of the two. So you guys who wanted more Brood War, you got it. You got it. Be happy. Movie here. Uh, actually trying to harass this SCV just a little bit, and you know what? Does pretty well for himself until another SCV shows up. Now we've got two versus one, now the probe needs to get out. Probe trying to- Oh! Alright man, moving on an SCV kill on Flash. That's it. He's in. His APM's stupid high. He actually is stealing gas here from Flash as well in the early stages of the game. It is just some really, really quick marine production here from Flash. He's gonna try to expand behind it, and he does. He gets the command center down anyway. There's a marine here protecting against this probe. The probe is scouting, but there's really not much to see as all the tech is up here. And a zealot shows up. Zealot says, Marines, you go ahead and shoot me in my butt. I don't care. I'm here to kill SCVs, if at all possible. SCVs actually hit pretty hard with their little drills. What is their attack officially called? Fusion Cutter. I like it. It sounds very futuristic. I don't think the Zealot's going to get a kill here. The control by Flash has just been too good so far. And it's, I mean, it's basically a micro challenge in this situation is. Oh, 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 almost got it. Almost got his kill, but didn't. Another Zealot shows up. This guy ends up getting evaporated before he gets anything done. And yeah, this is just really to kind of mess up Flash and try to make something happen. Meanwhile, this SCV has been blocking an expansion attempt of movie for a while now. The micro on the other side of the map has been kind of nuts. Do you have any kills, Zealot? Absolutely not. Oh, he got one. He got a kill, but he's dead. Dude, Zealots are expensive, man. They're 100 minerals each. So for two Zealots to go down in exchange for a Marine, ugh, not a good trade. Killing one SCV was brilliant by movie early, but then suddenly that was not good. That was not a good trade in the early stages of the game. But one get expand here from the Protoss player movie. He's got another gateway and a cybernetics core back home. And we're just going to move into mech here for Flash. Really no question about it at all. I guess we could start out with some bio stuff. A little bit of bio stuff here. But eventually, we always go for the mech. You have to go for the mech versus Protoss. It's too good versus Dragoons. Otherwise, your Dragoons trade way too efficiently with the bio and with the storm and with everything else. You need tanks to deal with the High Templar. You need tanks to deal with the Dragoons. And then you'll be okay. Throwing up a pylon up north here is movie. Interestingly enough, where's this zealot going? Zealot coming down here to see if there's a quick third base taken by Flash. Nah, good scout though. Good scout for sure. And SCV trying to see if there's a quick third nexus from his Protoss opponent as well. Dragoon's already on the way. Singularity charge being researched here too for movie. And finally taking down this assimilator are these Marines. They'll get there eventually. I don't think Flash is in like obsessed 
with this. Zealot. Ooh, good micro. Great micro. Zealot down. I mean, that's the thing. is Zealots versus unmicroed marines are really good. But if you micro them, the game changes. The game changes quite a bit. So Assimilator finally getting killed. That was thrown down a couple minutes ago, it feels like now. And just macroing up here is our friend movie. He is getting a robotics facility. Where, though? Is it over here? Oh, it's over here. It's over here at the proxy. He's hiding a robo facility from Flash. And the SCV gets a decent scout off before he's killed. Not bad. I mean, the robo facility could have still been up here. The tech still could still exist in the north, but... That was good. I like it very much. I also like how the observer in this game is named Movie vs. Flash. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. It has 222 APM as well, which I guess is how much APM you need to accurately observe, I suppose, is was what that could be. I wonder what my observation APM is. Don't know. Don't know what to tell you. All right, so we have a bunker here with Marines in it, all in varying stages of health. We got super healthy, super injured, okay, and moderately injured inside that bunker all having a good time probably sharing a coffee or two probably not drinking on the job because then suddenly uh you're in trouble when the dragoons show up and as this stands singularity charge dragoons can outrange a bunker full of marines if they don't have the uh range upgrade for the marines so what this does is you can't kill this bunker because the scbs are repairing but it really does a fantastic job bleeding minerals off of the terran player that he'd rather be using on other stuff but if the bunker dies he dies so he absolutely has to continue repairing right here. We have more Dragoons coming in here. Early pressure, something we've seen a lot from Bisu. I'm sure that movie has studied Bisu intensely in his games before he became a professional StarCraft Brood War player. Tank out. Does it have Siege Mode available? By golly, yes, it does. And it's underneath his barracks, so it's harder to target fire. What a play. Tank shows up, one volley gets off, and the Dragoons pull back very smartly in the contain. It's technically over. Third command center being built here down inside the main base by Flash. He's gonna, probably going to move it up to the high ground as soon as that sucker is done. Ooh, and a robotic support bay and reaver production. <gasps> reaver drop. Reaver drop. Reaver drop at school. All right. This is going to be good. Wait. Lunch? At lunch, I believe, is the quote. Fashion show. Fashion show. Fashion show at lunch. That's what it is. That's what the chant is. I actually can't remember what movie that's from. Or TV show, possibly. But it's in my head. My sisters used to say it all the time growing up. All right. So here we are. Dragoons holding to make sure... Look at this! The vultures can't get out! The vultures can't get out to do the really nifty, sneaky vulture things because Dragoons are holding it. Oh, here comes the shuttle, though. The shuttle... We're gonna unload the reaver here. Oh, it's a hit on the... Wow! One vulture goes down. Unloading Dragoons inside the main base where there is no defense at all. There's... Okay, tank finally pops out of the factory just at the nick of the right time right here. Taking some tank fire is that Dragoon pulling back. Vulture trying to deal with this. Marines trying to deal with this. This is a pretty intense attack here. Out of movie. I like it very, very much indeed. SCV is forced to fight as well. The Vulture count is falling precipitously. The Marines are all dead. SCVs are getting destroyed. Trying to drop. Actually, trying to feign a drop. Maybe trying to drop on top of that tank. I don't know. But the tanks are actually allowed to get into position here by the SCVs. And this sucker's going to die after getting a single kill. So we still have a Reaver, still have a Dragoon here at the front. SCV's running from this location. Look at all this lost mining time. Oh, oh, he tried to unload and get a shot off, but he couldn't unload and get it off quite fast enough. Mmm, Scarab shot. Bam, on the tank, injuring that one immensely. Hurting the other one too. Vulture down. Tank setting up at siege mode. Another tank back here as well. Catching the tank and dealing all but 14 damage to it. Oh, no. Lost the Reaver. Oh, no. Movie lost the Reaver. That said, he got a third base down in the middle of all of that chaos. He killed a bunch of stuff. Killed a ton of vultures. Lost a ton of dragoons. And I think Flash feels like maybe a counterattack is in play right now. Possible. It seems entirely possible, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's happening. What is this white thing? Oh, there's an observer. Right in the middle here. Kind of camouflaged, actually, with this machine shop. Wide observers are hard to see on backdrops. They just, they blend. They blend exceptionally well. Okay, so Movie's income is definitely better than his opponent Flash's. Flash has finally landed his third base, but there's absolutely nothing going on. Although, a nice transfer of four SCVs to get that thing started. Observers have seen everything that's happening right now, which I I'm kind of surprised Flash is allowing this to happen. Vulture now has speed. Look at this thing go. But we have the three pylon wall. Vulture cannot get through that at all. Really, Protoss players, you got to figure this out. You got to throw up three pylons and the ramp into your third base because Vultures will try to kill you 
otherwise. Three shots on the Vulture, man. All right, that sounds good, says Movie. Bam. Vulture down. Tank count, fairly scary. Not many tanks died in that engagement. Uh, they got a lot of shots off. They killed some Dragoons. I think they're the things that actually killed that Reaver, too. But none... One of them died. I don't think any more of them actually died. So... Tank count is healthy right now, which doesn't mean that Flash doesn't need to add to it, but he is trying to rebuild his Vulture count. He's trying to get a Starport. He's been slowed down a little bit by all of this aggression, and a movie's just kind of been doing whatever he wants. I'm telling you, a movie's in a pretty darn good position here. That early aggression, I believe, paid for itself quite nicely. Forge coming on in with a plus one attack for these ground units, and we're starting to seed spider mines all across the map right now. All across the map for Flash, really just slowing down the Dragoon attacks, the marauding Dragoon attacks that they try to get from point A to point B. Point B being the stuff that Flash has. Alright, so Vultures find our little forward sneaky thing that was hidden by movie. They're going to go ahead and try to take down this pylon. Again, not great against buildings, but if you have four of them, you'll get there eventually. As we can see here, movie's kind of abandoning this tech. Maybe he's done with it. I don't know, man. Are you ever done with Reaver Drops if you tech to them? I kind of feel like they're fantastically good. That said, High Templar on the way. That said, Zealot's on the way. That said, I think Zealot Legs is done. I believe I saw that. Yeah, that was a Zippy. Zippy Zealot. To be sure, this one too. Look at these guys. Zealot. That's the sound they make when they run. Official, official soundboard for StarCraft Remastered brought to you by Falcon Paladin. All right, so both players just kind of sitting back right now, 11 minutes into the game. We've got the High Templar. Are we researching Storm? Um, Storm must be done. Production tab, not entirely sure if I saw it or not. But the fact that he lifted up the High Templar and put him in the shuttle, that's going to be a Storm drop for sure, right? Right. What else do you do with High Templar in a shuttle? Nothing. That's literally all you can do. Vultures. Trying to see if there's a fourth base. New. No. Trying to sneak up this way. There's nowhere to sneak, really. And just throwing down a spider mine in case a probe tries to wander over and expand. It won't be killed because f workers are float. They don't trigger spider mines, but you can't build a nexus there because there's something in the way. It's a block, is what it is. All right, man. Tanks are set up. Dragoons. Not enough dragoons at all to handle this. This is a stupid amount of tanks in uh, 10. 10 of them on the ground. Don't do it. Don't do it, movie. Don't attack into that. He's not. He's not, very smartly. He's not, but ooh, look who has a fourth base up in the top left right now. Movie does. Not scouted by Flash. I try to check this location on the right. Kind of missed with that one. Oh, Storm's now on the way from Movie. All right. He's just kind of preemptively loading up High Templar uh, into the shuttle for drop reasons in the future. Actually, where'd that thing go? Here it is. Yeah, man. Four High Templar in there. They don't have Storm. Dark Templar coming in here, too. Vultures pushing, putting some pressure up on movie right now, throwing down spider mines. There's an observer. It doesn't have observer speed, but it's on the way. Gravitic boost is being researched right now. EMP coming in here too for flash. So good. Moving all the shields from a Protoss unit with EMP is ridiculously great. Vultures might try to get on in here to this base. Ooh, but this area as well in a lot of trouble. I think these vultures might be stuck. Can't these vultures get out of here? Oh, there's a ramp. Never mind. They're good. They're good. I forgot about this ramp. <laughs> you can definitely get out of there for sure. Vulture's still continuing to run around. Spider Mine's getting picked off from distance by the Dragoons. They're sitting on plus one attack. Our uh, attack upgrades for the mech is plus one attack as well for Flash. I just, I do not really feel great uh, about what movie is doing here in the last couple of minutes. He's let Flash do whatever he wants. And that's getting Caron boosters and a ton of Goliaths because guess what? Fleet Beacon... And additional Stargates on the way for movie. I don't know where they are. Oh, Stargate, Stargate, Fleet Beacon. Okay, there it is. Up here at supposedly secret hidden base. But Flash knows. Flash knows he needs Goliaths now. He's getting the Goliaths. We're going to see Charon Booster versus Carrier type stuff, which is really fun to watch. Especially if Flash is involved. And, oh man, tanks. Blech. Bad pathing there, kind of wandering in. Oh, free zealot, man. Free damage taken is free damage taken. It absolutely is. Flash might just want to try to kill Movie right now before the carrier group gets too high. Who did we see? Who did we see on this map? I'm trying to remember who it was, but we saw Flash versus somebody on this map. Might have been Bisu actually, from the same from the same tournament. But either way, defensive matrix on that tank coming on down from the north to the south. Good storm on these vultures and the tanks. 
The Storms are doing work on these front lines for Flash, continuing to push in their Dragoons, but there are still about a million tanks down below. And by that, I mean uh, uh, 12, 12 of them. Counting on stream is a hard, hard thing to do, you guys. Ay, caramba. 11 Zealots in production from Mui. Throwing up another base here, too. Ay, caramba. All right. Fair enough, dude. Yeah, this is very similar to another game that I cast on this map, but not the same. Not the same. Similar, but not the same. I'm pretty sure it was Bisu. I'm pretty sure it was Flash versus Bisu on this very map from this very same tournament, which explains the similarities. They were played very close together chronologically in 2016, and they both involved Flash. Dark Templar, man. No. Oh. Did they... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Can you manually detonate a spider mine? What? No, uh, that was weird. That was weird. All right, Dragoons continuing to push. They got that plus one attack. They're working on plus two. It's almost done. Uh, carrier capacity on the way here, too, for movie. He's definitely committing to making three carriers at a time. Robotic support bay going to die. I'm not sure that movie cares at all. That is dead tech for him. Dragoons taking down spider mines. And it's 200 to 200. So both players are maxed out at the 16-minute mark right now. 3.28 p.m. for Flash. About 2.20 settled down for Movie. Triple pumping carriers getting upgrading the capacity for interceptors on those carriers and continuing to get air weapons upgrades at this stage of the game. Small engagement in the middle. Movie doesn't really want to engage here unless it's to free up supply, which he might want to do to free it up for additional carriers because he's maxed out right now. Any more carriers he makes is not going to be available to him because he's at 200. Well, he's at 199, but... Close enough. Carrier supply is eight, I believe. Is it gonna, will it tell us if I look? No, it will not. That's okay. I believe it's eight. It's a lot. It is a lot of supply for a carrier because it's a good unit. Pretty darn good unit here. Now, people are going to say in the comments, why isn't Flash getting locked down? I don't know. I don't know why Flash isn't getting locked down. He's going for Goliaths instead. But he's absolutely going for Goliaths. Wait, hold on. He's absolutely going for Goliaths. I don't know where they are. But he was a minute ago. What is happening? Got okay, well he got Charon Booster and he made a group of Goliaths. Did they die? This is freaking me out. This is really freaking me out. Either way, this very, very can't shoot up army from Flash is going after movies base up north here. The carriers are gonna come in and wipe this out, because again, nothing can shoot up in this location. Bit of a skirmish in the middle here. Not much really happening, although movie going for it. Never mind. Stuff's happening. Where are the High Templar? I don't know, but that's a lot of tank. If there are enough Zealots remaining, though, they can get on top here, and the Vultures can be cleaned out by the Dragoons. Oh, uh, this army's actually getting wiped out. This army's dying, too, from Flash. Okay, eight Goliaths in production now. Maybe I just saw the future. Maybe I saw a future wherein... Flash made a ton of Goliaths. Either way, reinforcements came in from the north here and wiped out Movie's army, so we're down to 147 and 151. Ten Dragoons at a time being made right now, and missile turrets, missile turrets upon missile turrets upon missile turrets here, protecting Flash's fourth base up along the left side. That'll do, man. That'll do, pig. That's a lot of missile turrets. They don't benefit from upgrades, but... Nevertheless, their anti-air is formidable. 20 damage per shot. Yep, 20 damage per shot on that longboat missile. Pretty great stuff. A small vulture tank attack here at movies. Entirely undefended. Sixth base? Yeah, it's attempted to be a sixth base, but no. Engagement in the middle of the map here. Carriers in still. Goliath using that Charon booster upgrade. Interceptor count is not very healthy on these carriers. You can see them with a lot of queued up interceptors, which means a ton of them have died, which means the carriers are not as good as they otherwise could be. Observer picked off here thanks to the detection on the Science Vessel. Science Vessel's already thrown down some EMP and some Defensive Matrix in this game so far, so pretty fantastic game by that Science Vessel, ro vessel Robot Pilot. Whatever, whatever he is, Robot Pilots are a thing though. Clearing out some Spider Mines, both players playing a little bit cautiously. Losing this base was sort of a big deal for movie. I don't know about this, but yeah, now we get to see one of my favorite sites in the game, which is just Charon boosted missiles going after carriers. It's really kind of amazing. It's just such a pretty blue, poofy site. 
Uh, Goliaths are trying to get a hit on the carriers when they can. Now they are, as you can see here, but a lot of the time the interceptors are the only thing close enough for them to hit. Some of these carriers are in trouble. One of them is severely injured, and none of them have many interceptors remaining. Look at this. Look at how many of these are building right now. High Templar are going to wander into these vultures. It's going to be not a good thing. Okay, maybe not. But wandering onto Spider Mine is also a bad thing. Wait, where are you? All right, man, you have some plans. Either way, good storms here. Storms on everybody. The High Templar know they're going to die, but they're getting off as many storms as they can, as protostly possible. Not out of energy there. Where did this High Templar go? Oh, tanks finished him off because he wandered into tank fire. What the heck was that? Ah, it's 187 to 154 supply and Flash making it happen here just with the macro. Just crushing through. He's got another base coming up to the south. A Dark Templar might actually block this. Yeah, it actually does stop that expansion. DT in the right place at the right time for movie. Not too shabby indeed. Five interceptors being made at once on these carriers, but who got found a little bit out of uh, a little bit out of town here. Where are the High Templar? Do they have energy for anything? They they do now. They just barely got enough energy for storm. They're trying to storm down these mech units, and they're getting some decent hits off. A lot of these are injured, but the tanks aren't the problem. The Goliaths are the problem. There are. 12 Goliaths on the ground. They've got plus three attack on those Charon boosters. The carriers themselves are trying to build interceptors as fast as they can, but just continuing to push up here very aggressively is Flash at the 21 minute mark. And yeah, Goli or Dragoons are coming out. Some DTs are coming out right now. Movie has about 200 minerals in the bank. He's using all of that to build interceptors as fast as he can. The Goliaths can still attack ground units, and this fifth base or so of movie is gonna die. He's been losing Nexuses like crazy right now. An attack trying to send these Dragoons possibly up from the bottom to do a bit of a sandwich on these units, but nah, flash of control too good. 345 APM right now. Zealots did manage to get into this, well, did they? I don't think they did. But this guy has one kill. Yeah, man. He's killed a missile turret. Another engagement here. More Charon boosters. More blue trailing clouds of smoke. Carrier group is eight, which is just not as all-encompassingly devastating as you need it to be. Uh, this guy, did he get a storm off? He's got 20 kills. All right, man. He stormed that. Good job. Good job by you. And Flash continuing to push up to the top left-hand corner. If he can kill the top left-hand corner, this is where the production is. And Movie's in a lot of trouble. Is he rebuilding Stargates elsewhere? He cannot really afford to do it right now. There we go. Using the target fire on the carriers as best as he can. But sometimes that range just isn't enough. The range is really far with Charon boost. But sometimes it's not far enough to actually hit the carriers. You just force the target down at the interceptors. Instead, it's no great shame. It is no great shame if that's something that you must do. Again, Flash is doing it, so it's good enough for you. Walking right on into this top left-hand corner, though. I don't think Movie can stop this. It's his final mining base and where all of his production facilities live right now. The carriers are going for the base race. But, uh, I don't... I mean, they're still building interceptors. Look at these guys go. They don't have any queued up, which is nice. Oh, man. What a second group of huge... Yep, yeah, second huge group of Goliaths just in the middle of the map. Hey! I would stop by and say hello. Movie is down to eight minerals. He can't replace his interceptors right now. There we go. That top left nexus is gone. Dead and gone forever. Getting plus three air weapons is movie, but I don't think he's going to survive enough to actually end up using that. I, I just, I see a GG. I see a GG in his future right now. These probes are down. It's 172 to 87 supply, doubling up the supply of movie is Flash. And this is might be a final engagement. Just absolutely not worrying about the carriers. Recognizing if you kill all the interceptors, they're coming to you, man. If you kill all the interceptors, there's going to be nothing left for movie. He can't make any more interceptors. He can make one. He can make one more interceptor here. It's 25 minerals per. But man, taking direct hits right now are these carriers. And then finally pulling on back, wandering into a place that's not very well defended, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter right now. This base is mining for Flash. This base is mining for Flash. If he lost it, it'd be a bit of a problem, but there's no income for movie at all. I don't know how he's at 48 minerals. Did he cancel something? He might have canceled something. Uh, well, Command Center lost by Flash, but no big deal in the grand scheme of things here. And that's it. Movie left the game. No GG from Movie, surprisingly. And look at Flash. He wants to stand in a little bit and finish off these carriers. 
Wow, and now Flash has left the game with one of his Goliaths in mid-attack animation. Yeehaw! All right, so those of you who complained that last time we saw Flash in a TVP where it went carrier, he didn't target fire the carriers very well, he did in this game. That Goliath production was insane. I mean, look at the kills on these guys. 13, 6, 11, 6, 3. You guys are new. You suck. Oh, 0, 2, huh? Well, it's split up. But some of these guys have double-digit kills. A lot of those are interceptors, I'm sure, but... Still, man, carriers getting picked off out of the sky, bases getting wiped out too, just can't engage correctly into this Goliath group with the carriers, and that was it. That was all that Bisu wrote. Bisu movie wrote. Did I call him Bisu throughout the game? I hope not. I really hope I didn't do that. Anyway, uh, all right, so good job. Good job by Flash getting the win there. You Flash fans should be pretty interested and happy about that result, but yeah, it was just tanks and vultures. He really dealt with the early pressure well. I thought movie got some nice hits off on him, but in the end, didn't lose many SCVs, right? Lost a ton of vultures, but those are fairly easy replaceable for him. Uh, got a bunch of tanks out, did not lose any engagements when he had the tanks on the ground, and then transitioned to Goliath and just masked Goliath as soon as he saw that the carriers were coming in, and that was all she wrote. So check out that final score. And 400, about 430 units produced by both of these players. Flash with a little bit more. Killed a little bit more as well. Structures here definitely in favor of Flash. Raised 34 to 4. And then resources. Uh, yeah, Flash has... Uh, he's... Wow, he's down actually a little bit in every category here. 13,668 versus 13,660 for Flash. Movie has the lead. 42,400. Minerals mined, 40,000 minerals mined for Flash, 54 spent, and 53 spent. Again, in favor of Movie. So Movie tried to outspend his opponent, tried to out-macro his opponent, couldn't quite do it with the income that he had. And that units tab tells the difference about that. 367 units killed by Flash compared to 258. Whew. All right. Well, that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.